Thank you so much for your time. And first of all, may I ask you where you are from? I'm from Latvia. La Latvia? It's uh, next to Sweden and next to Russia. And between uh, also Estonia and uh, Lithuania. Yeah. So it's more like Slavic uh, North uh, country? Yeah, yeah, actually, last week I interviewed a girl from Latvia. I never saw people from Latvia, um, but this is second time. That's very rare. It's very rare, but uh, people have this possibility because uh, Europe and Asia is uh, totally different, totally opposite. Uh -huh. So once I met Asian people, they want to visit Europe. And those people who is in Europe, uh -huh. they want to visit Asia uh -huh. so badly. What brought you to Japan? Why made you come to Japan? So my love uh, to the Japan was born uh, when I was little and I've been watching anime. Oh, yeah. yeah so yeah, yeah. I'm a big anime fan. Oh. So all my free time I'm reading mangas and anime. So this is how my <laughs> love born. Wow. born. For example, what's your favorite anime? My lo uh, favorite anime was uh, Bleach. Bleach? Oh, yeah, that's so cool. Ichigo Kurosaki is Ichigo. my crush. Oh. It was like for all the time, but now I'm a Jujutsu Kaisen fan. <laughs> And Toji is my husband. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Before the interview, you said like uh, you also like Ghibli? Yes, uh, Spirited Away is one of my first oh, animes yeah, which yeah. I've been watching, yeah. Huh? So I can show also I did the tattoo. Oh my yeah. god, that's really cool. So what tattoo did you get? So I got the uh, Haku tattoo. Oh my god. Wow. Oh my god, this is so cool. Haku. Haku. That's really cool. It's a simple one, yeah. Ooh. My friend did done for me. That's really cool, amazing. I never saw people get tattoo of Haku. Why did you get tattoo Haku? Because he's gorgeous. <laughs> he's and he's, a, he's very nice, beautiful dragon, yes. yeah. So mostly people doing uh, red dragons, like um, traditional Japanese dragons oh, tattoos, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I wanted something um, unusual. One of my favorite animes and first animes was uh, spirited away so i decided to do haku and he's also as i said he's gorgeous yeah of course he's a beautiful yeah? yeah beautiful dragon when you were kids you used to watch anime you like manga those things it's the main reason you came to japan yeah so i went to shibuya uh -huh. to check it out like the famous um, the next station is shibuya uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah so i went to check the shibuya and walked around so i'm now want to try to get some anime shops or shopping centers to check it out but now i was about to go to the check it temple because uh, i want to take something which is going to protect me what kind of charm do you want to get since i had uh, bad uh, health so i'm thinking about the strong health oh nice health yeah actually is this your first time to come to japan here yes this is my first time and i came yesterday so basically i came to south korea i visited my friend who oh, yeah. studies there she's busy on this weekend and I've been thinking, oh, I should go to Japan because Japan is actually my number one country. Number one country. Yes. So for me, it's like a big goal that for once my holiday, I visited two countries which I'm adoring. So finally, your dream came true. Something yeah. Like I I came yesterday. I I couldn't stop smiling. I even wanted to cry when I hear Japanese language. Oh yeah. Yeah, because before that, I've been hearing only in animes, and now I'm really happy to hear. People are oh. talking around me and I'm feeling like I'm dreaming. Oh my god, I'm happy to hear that like you loved Japan so much. Yeah, because it, as I said, they are unique. The way how they are styling, how they are behaving, yeah. And actually, I also surprised that how nice they are behaving to the tourists. They're oh. really welcome and helping out me. I've been crying yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well. Today I'm just smiling. Oh yeah, yeah okay. I'm enjoying. Mm, that's nice. First uh, few hours I couldn't realize that I came. Just I've been trying to pinch myself oh. to realize that is it reality? My parents been saying that oh there is not any difference between all countries in Japan. Mm. I said, said that no people are different. Also the buildings and uh, for example the nature also because there are so many trees which we don't have. And I've been walking and looking at some of these trees. So the nature and everything, even the air is different. Uh. I'm still dreaming. <laughs> <laughs> I think when I'm gonna go back to South Korea. I'm going to sit in the airplane and been thinking like, oh. oh yes, I visited Japan and I think I got everything in this life. Oh, but uh, I'm going to visit definitely once again because it's only four days and mm. that's not enough. And I still yeah. want to visit Osaka. Before you come to Japan, you really loved Japan, like anime, but did you like another things about Japan? The food. <laughs> so I'm a big sushi lover. Sushi lover. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Also, I like ramen. Ramen. To, I think the most popular. In Latvia, we have many sushi restaurants. Oh, yeah. Oh so you eat sushi with wasabi? 
Yes. Oh, I yeah. like uh, ginger yeah. also. Ginger? I love ginger. Ah. I can eat ginger just without uh, anything. That's Wasabi is giving me electricity shock <laughs> to my brain, so I'm trying to avoid that. Did you also get culture shock or surprising things? I didn't get shock, only positive uh, vibes. Oh my gosh, the people are here so amazing. The way how they are even um, showing themselves mm. to show this uh, specific uh, taste of the style, for example. Uh -huh. I like uh, the girls who dress like a kawaii girl. Oh my god, yeah, yeah, kawaii! Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Sugoi, kawaii! Yeah, but the, the specific makeups with the hairstyles mm. and the dresses. I love this kind of unique style. Do you also wear like those kawaii fashion? Sometimes I'm doing uh, really uh, anime makeup, but uh, about the dresses, I don't think it's gonna be suitable for me. Yeah, mm. but I more adore people who is uh, trying every style. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know Harajuku? Mm -mm. Harajuku is like a Takeshita street. There are many kawaii clothing shops or like yeah, many kawaii stuff. I wanna try to dress yukata. Oh, yukata? Yeah, really? I wanna try. You have to, yeah, it's like a very traditional dress. Traditional, yeah, summer clothes in Japan. Yeah. On the springtime, it's really popular to visit here to see Hanami. Hanami, yeah, 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 yeah. Hanami is one of the popular seasons in Japan. Yeah, yeah. Sakura. Do you know many things about Japan, like Hanami or Yukata? Or... Something I know from, of course, from anime. So you stay only four days. Do you have a plan to do some activities? I want to try kimono, visit museum, maybe tomorrow. I also want to visit cat cafe. I love cats. Since I don't have a cat at my home, oh. I can only appreciate them in, in cafe. Oh. Enjoying my drink, coffee, something sweet and uh, petting the kitties, Neko. Ah, Neko, ne? Neko, Neko ne? Ah, yeah, yeah. When you leave Japan, what kind of souvenir do you want to buy for yourself? I've been only thinking about the, this protection charm from, uh -huh. the, from the temple. I bought uh, some special Japanese sweets. So I bought mochi. Mochi? I bought some chopsticks from my friends. From because friends? Uh, my oh, friends right. love sushi. I think uh, chopsticks from Japan are going to be something special, which yeah, they're going to remember and appreciate that. Keychains, some uh, magnets. And my colleagues asked me to bring some postcards as Postcard. well. Postcards? Ah, that's nice. If it's okay, could you show me your favorite picture that you took in Japan? Just one day, but you can show me something. I like uh, this Japan how yeah. the modern it is. Yeah. The it's Miyashita a, Park. Yeah, the top rooftop. So I've been walking and I really like that thing. People can play volleyball there and people have been enjoying like it's like a park in the rooftop. I really like that because we didn't have that. Yeah. Something, something unique. Crosswalk. Oh, that's great. <coughs> So in the United Kingdom we have, for example, Victorian style houses and here our house is so different, for example, more like um, not straight um, ways, like hills. So I really enjoying this like views. Oh yeah, this, yeah, yeah. This uh, like, is typical street Japanese style. Yes, maybe you saw this style in anime. Yeah, like this a, is giving me like like a, some anime style. Do you know any Japanese phrase or words? <laughs> Where did you learn? It's like anime. <laughs> this is my basic. Okay, Eri, Oni chan. Oh my god, really? That's great. Wow. Some words, just Some words. which I remembered from anime. Konnichiwa, Ohoyo gozaimasu, Oto sama. Onesama, <laughs> Senpai, Sensei. I know a lot, but I cannot come to my mind. Just uh, randomly can come. Daijoubu desu ka? Daijoubu desu ka? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Daijoubu desu ka? Oh, <laughs> it sounds like anime. <laughs> That's so yeah. Okay. Pika Pika? Pika Pika. <laughs> Pika Pika. Pika Chu. Yeah. Great. What's your dream? My dream is to live till 100 years. Oh, 200 yeah. years? Oh, yeah, yeah, and uh, just to be happy because uh, if you're not enjoying this life, you can do whatever you want in this life. Yeah. Just whatever it takes, yeah. Uh -huh. If it brings you to joy, uh -huh. you should do that. Yeah. Doesn't matter, is it travel to have a good job or have a happy family with uh, uh, yeah. many kids, with yeah. loving husband. Yes, yeah, Just yeah. Uh, whatever it takes, yeah. If it's gonna bring you joy, you can do that. For yeah. me, I still don't know what I want in my life. The only thing which I know that I just want to be happy, yeah, to have these positive emotions. Yes, yes. For yes. now, I'm getting positive emotions from travel to see different cultures, yeah. And the same like emotions I had when I visited Morocco. Two years ago, I visited with my friend. It's uh, Africa, yeah, and it's Arabic country, and it's total, also totally very, yeah. very, very different culture. Uh -huh. So for me, I didn't get that much positive emotions like here, but I also got some emotions that I got the big experience that I met the different culture and I respecting them. There is something in my knowledge, in my brain, uh -huh. which is gonna stick up and I'm gonna bring to another country oh. and I'm gonna talk with other people, how That's was that? That's so I'm gonna share this experience with other people. Yes. They might like it, they might gonna visit that. So your dream is also 
become happy. So are you happy now? I am happy. Yeah. I'm very happy. In my country, there is meaning. If you keep saying about happy stuff, which happens to you, it means that they're going to finish fast. But I don't believe that. You should share happy moments with the other people. So they might think that if they're going to do something else, they will be also happy. Oh, yeah. So I'm sharing with other people and I keep saying that now this year gave me good people which are supporting me, my good friends, my family. Yeah, we are having a wonderful time. That's nice. That was really fun to talk with you. Thank you so much for our time. So you speak Russian? So Russian is my mother language, but I speak Latvian because I learned that. Привет, меня зовут. Как тебя зовут? Меня зовут Алиса. 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 Как дела? Хорошо. Как у тебя дела? Нормально дела. Очень нормально. That's amazing. Суши очень вкусно. Очень вкусно. Ойши суши. Спасибо. Спасибо. Аригато, Thank you. It was really fun. So yeah.